In this video, we play a giant bobble-headed Sherman, which might be the ugliest thing I've ever seen. Is that overpressure him? What is this panther doing? Is he backwards? Okay, got my turret ring. There's a heavy tank here, which is probably a yeah, some sort of tiger. It's a tiger one. Oh, there's an IS-2 here as well. Holy moly, this is really not great. Okay, we survived again. The gun handling is dreadful. There's another one. Ooh, he missed. We peek again. Hey, mistakes were made. Oh my god, the poly count. I don't have to look at that thing ever again. Oh, just kidding. Okay, at least we got one more kill, you know. Uh, oh, there's a guy behind us. Hi guys, and welcome back to the channel. So yeah, this thing exists. A Sherman with a Pershing turret. Now, I suppose the good news about this vehicle is it does have the same 90mm as the Pershing, but it's 6.0 on a Sherman chassis that still has a radial engine. It's a bit weird. Now, let me preface this video by saying I didn't actually enjoy playing this tank. I much prefer the stabilized 76 with a quicker reload, but my god, a 90mm at 6.0 with a little bit of turret armor is pretty good. Now, a quick fiddle about with this thing, we managed to get 12 deaths but 72 kills, which is very, very good. Whenever I say I don't like a tank, it doesn't mean that it's not effective, it's just that I don't really enjoy playing it, and the reason is gun handling. Now the reason for the poor gun handling is pretty obvious, there's an extra 3 tons over the standard Sherman and of course a much bigger barrel hanging over the front, so it's a little bit wobbly, I actually got kinda a little bit of a motion sickness playing this thing, which you'll see in this video. For those of you not familiar with the US 90mm, this is the M82 shot that we all call the nook round for good reason, it has 173mm of penetration, more than enough to deal with pretty much anything that you'll look at, and it also has 140 grams of explosive mass, meaning anything you pen is probably going to die. So I guess the pros for this vehicle is very good cannon, decent turret armor, the negatives are weak hull armor, terrible going up at hills because of radial engine, and the ammunition here, same with all Pershings, is a little bit of a weakness. The best comparison I can give you for this thing is, imagine the Israeli M51 with a slightly smaller cannon that has APHE. I think I enjoy this more than the M51 just because of consistent damage rather than having extra pen, whereas you do pen with this thing, the thing will die. I'm going to show you three games I think here, and not the best ones, just the most fun ones that I played. I had a couple of really disgustingly high kill games in this, but it was pretty boring. So I'm just going to show you the most fun ones to watch. Let's get into battle, and I'll show you how I go on. Right, we are against Germany and Britain, and Sweden actually. Let's go. Now, I know a lot of people are going to like this thing, but I really can't stand it. I, I think it it's not worth it. I'd rather a Jackson. What are you doing, M18? Why why do people, when they hit into you, then start turning into you and don't change course? Probably eating Cheetos or something. I used to play with this guy in CSGO, worst player on our squad. And it, it was just because it was our, I would say, best player. But I don't want to offend my friends who still watch my channel. It was his best friend. And in a five or six hour session, we'd be playing CSGO. At Global Elite. This dude would be eating non stop. All you'd hear is him chewing, or he would, and then he'd die, eat a handful of whatever he was chewing on, and then give us the info. Like, dude, stop eating. I wonder if it's the same dude. That was a very fast VK. Like, how can you eat that much food? It drove me bananas. I hate the sound of other people eating. It's like an actual name for that, right? I'd go as far to say it's a phobia. I can hit this guy's cupola if I get a shot on him. I mean, he can just stare at me too, eh, Sandy? Did you notice me? It's another king tiger. I don't think he did notice me, but... My gun handling might let me down here. Oh, he's turning his side to me. Elevate, elevate, elevate. He is done. Alright, two... Two king tigers. Two panthers. Someone shot me on the cupola from god knows where. Ignis something. What hit me? Right, did I get shot from over here? I probably did. 
There's so much engine noise, I just don't know where it's all coming from. Oh, it's a JBZ45 over here. And it wasn't that guy, was it? No, it was a different name. He must have crossed way before that Leo. Hi, S1, why are you shooting me? You just gave me a fright. Oh, there's a tiger coming. Let's see if I hit this guy's cool off. He shot my barrel. Right, so we're repairing this. And then we gotta reload. So we're about 25 seconds. Which should be enough time to reload before he pushes me. It's just a German kite. Oh. That's a VK, right? Right, is the IS-1 done with shooting at me now? Okay, VK is pushing me. We are going to get him too, but there might be a guy to my right. Yeah, there's definitely a guy to my right somewhere. And I still don't know where the JPZ-45 is, but my IS-1's on the cat. Yeah, a jumbo's coming. Oh, another tiger. Backing off because he didn't get his kill. There's a guy to my right. Where? Yes, Tiger, come here. Did you notice me? Or the IS1, probably, right? You noticed the IS1? Right, wait. I'm going to try and swing around and get a better shot on this lid. Uh, someone's definitely to my right, but I'm not sure he can see me. Okay, that's friendly, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. So, this is a really good defensive tank. But not a very good offensive one. And it's testament because... We're, we're alive, there's lots of enemies dead. But if I push out, I'm dead. Myself. What, what smoked over here? Someone definitely did. I don't know why that tiger pushed me so aggressively, by the way. Alright, the JPZ-45 is out on the ocean. Oh, an M16 is uh, giving me some cover. There's many enemies left. Loads. Careful, little guy. It's not clear out there. Yeah, I see a man tried to kill you. He's been good at alerting people though. Like, uh, the attention to me. Oh, he's okay. Just be careful. There is a tank destroyer my teammate just shot at. So I'm actually going to spin back around and go back where I was again. And the rest of them are in a spawn by the looks of it. Oh, there's an enemy on B. Oh god, hey. Alright, reverse right up. Okay, this guy just got shot pretty hard too. I'm actually not sure which teammate hit him. Is that bombs? Oh yeah. And my teammate just... Holy moly! Where did you come from? Man, that gunner loader. He may get his gunner back before I reload, but I'm still gonna push him. I need to be careful with a Tiger one shot this teammate of mine as well. A stug. It's not ideal that that stug arrived. Because now I don't know where this panther is. We're gonna remain hidden. For the time being, the M16 is driving right into him. Look at this M16, did what, Chad? <laughs> even useful, even in a useless SPA. Oh, I hit so. No, it's a GPZ, is it? Yeah, it is. What, this guy here? Rab, right? Where is he? Rab, 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 rab. 
died once, died twice, sorry. Brought out an SPA, didn't sit in his spawn, and actually it helped me so much. Right, there's a tiger on B. We need to go chase him down. It's dead. Uh, double dead. Honestly, what a legend. Just, uh, I'm a pure amazement. Yo, GG, dude. GG, Rab29. Right, dude, we got Horgan Forest single cap. This is a really, really not ideal scenario for us. We're not really fast enough to flank. We don't have the armor to stay in a long range engagement. We're against Britain and Germany as well. Uh, and we don't have the rate of fire either for a, a, an ollie brawl. So we're going to have to do what we usually do, which is go somewhere and don't move for five minutes. Oh my god, this thing is not doing well across terrain. I'm not surprised with the giant bubble head that's stuck to the top of it. This is actually agony, dude. At least we have a conga line of tanks going to a good advantageous spot. Now that's going to be a Concept 3 or a Puma that's on that cap. More than certainly something that's crossed over here too and we are the first in line. So... That's bad. VK just picked off our M18. On the other side of the map. This is abysmal, dude. There's an enemy right in front of me here. Panther just shot the guy next to me too. There's another panther that's coming. Go for the easy shot on him for now. Give us some breathing room. See if we can see that get thing on A. He has no turret crew back yet. Okay, now he does. There's another one. Who sounds a lot closer than this guy. I whiffed that because I was aiming for where he was going and not directly at him. Okay, he's dead anyway. Wait, right, where is this guy? He's really close to me. exploded. He's not dead, but he's hurt. It's a waffle tractor. Right, on the right-hand side. God, I'm having to navigate all these rocks. I think we're going to have to push the a gap. It's got quite fast ticket bleed this map. Right, the guy is on the A. My IS-1 is actually pushing up. Duck. Yeah, here's Tiger-1 and a VK. VK seem to be the most aware one. Two Tigers out here as well. Oh, dude, I, I really hate these Tiger side skirts sometimes, you know that? Oh, we are dead, 100%, right? Shoot my turret. He did. The other one is there. I'm just going to let this burn right now. And my loader just... My loader just died, it's not going to matter. My engine is cooking. This is not great. Thank you, IS-1. This tiger still doesn't know. Right, I've got a loader back. My IS-1 is dealing with that. No, why are you firing your machine guns, you psychopath? What's wrong with you? Right, it died anyway. Right, maybe we can get moving and get this a cap. Give me a fire. Right, two crits. Right, my, my jumbo's decapping. 
There's another plane coming. HG162 up as well. Okay. Tigor. The duck is RTB. I need to be really careful of this. Airplane coming back too. So this is a really good spot we're in now that the enemies kind of mostly dealt with. I just need to be really wary of this fucker wolf. And we can't really respond in a timely manner to getting bombed, so there's an issue there. Can I hit this tiger on the side of the turret? He's bombing him. He's got tiny bombs though, he just hit the ground. He's dead. Wait, we're not getting pushed on the other side. Right, Bulldog saved. We, we good flank, we got good flank. Damn, I really thought that guy was gonna hit the ground there. Okay. Panda? Side on Panda. Because this Bulldog did. My teammate and the Bulldogs are legend. Right through a tree. And a stug. This tree is in such an unfortunate place. Did the stug get a hit? No, he's gone. He's actually behind some cover. Right, the plane died. Where's this VK going? Yeah, this map's not very good if you get the enemy team looking into your spawn and we got the bad spawn too so imagine what it's like on the other side okay builder got him Stug's dead one more tiger down here and a German T-34 interesting where is the tiger? this is an absolute farm right now Oh, it's a panda. Right, another side skirt nonsense shot. Two in the same match. Oh, I hate so. Oh, he's spawn protected. I've got no first stage ammo after this round, so bit of a worry. He's dead. Uh, yeah, we melted this enemy team. Two left, and I think it's two planes. The duck I shot at earlier. Oh, HE-162. That's the HE-162. That's the duck. Sure is. So, uh, this is not a good map for us. We're also against Germany and Russia. And Italy and Britain. And what's even worse is, is 6.7. So... This wouldn't be my first choice, I have to say. But it is what it is. Right, so someone is doing a power of scouting at two kilometers away. We need to get close. I do not want to be facing 88s and 85s at long range. That is a PT-76. A thousand? Yeah. There's a Rital coming and a Tiger as well. Trying to aim for low plate. Oh, that bounced up from the ground and hit his plate. I think that's the scary IS-2 as well, is it? I killed his loader. I think it's a Rital 90. That was a good range. Oh, the tiger's firing at me. Too low. Uh, we're gonna have to move here. Because I've upset... I've upset a tiger one. Right, we got two kills and we got a crit. Holy moly, there's a guy right next to us. 
It's another Rattal. That's not ideal. What can I have? 50 gal on him. I got his commander. Okay. That was pretty scary. Right, what have we got at long range now? Oh dear. A man tried to kill me again. Oh, it's you. We're gonna have to do a bit of range finding, I think. 15 undo? Just, I'm gonna hold a bit low. That went. Where did that go? Did it go too high or did it go too low? Too high. There we go. Target destroyed. Behind us is looking okay, I think. We're just... Okay, the IS-2 died that we were shooting at earlier. Enemy aircraft. Bad. Get away. I told you to move. I don't really trust the fire, but we're gonna have to. Is he doing a swan song? No, he's dead. The enemy team is actually getting beat up. Dude, will you die already? Come on. Ease the anxiety of yourself coming back to get me. At least a little bit. Right, he's good. He's dead. Thank God. Our M18s are safe. What is what is even happening? Oh, there's a scent mark one behind us. Let's just chill behind these logs because I think this guy is going to go straight for somebody. It's not... Is it for me? No, it's not for me. This 50 cal is pretty awkward and a man just fired at me again. Oh, it's a... Yag Panther. No, don't face me. I need you to... There's a Panther up here as well. Oh. I don't know what that thing is. It is a Panther who I've knocked the cannon barrel out on. Uh, both these guys are just gonna snipe at us and there's not much I can do about it. Right. Oh, ouch. Right, we're doing the reverse tactic. There's an enemy down there and a, what's his name? Egost. It's the Sent Mark 1. Does he have a shot on me again or is he just waiting out? The Yag Panther is dead. Good. Right, 1550 again. Okay, it's a T-34-85 who has survived because of his driver hatch. But somebody is hitting him with EFS. That one dropped short because thanks, War Thunder. Very cool. Are you getting pushed around with your friend? No, you're actually just moving under your own weight. I hit the panther by a mistake. And I don't know where they said Mark 1 has gone. He's probably... There's a guy on E. There's a tiger. He's not facing me. Can I actually shoot him though? Right, he, he didn't get the cap. How did he not know I was here? Right, we're getting sea back. Enemy spotted. It's a... It's a rascal. An orble. <gasps> oh my goodness, that was so close. He's dragging a wheel. Okay, load our transmission. He's sort of rubber banding a little bit because, you know, just war thunder things. Is he popping smokes or is there another teammate shooting him? No, he fired at me. That dropped shot. Have I got the accuracy debuff of a Brit tank? I'm also out of first stage ammo. Okay, I killed his gunner that time. Thank God. I'm really concerned as to the whereabouts of this Centurion Mark 1 now. And I know there's a T-3485 that's between ACAP and our spawn. 
this, this dude read my gun around too, which is probably why I was shooting so inaccurately. He's there. I undamaged him, but he died. Right, my teammate's gonna capture A. How many kills do we have? Oh, we have seven because we shot down a plane, right? Oh, enemy shot from over that way. Let's go try and cap this because I need to get some ammunitions. But the, the game is going to be over anyway. We may as well get the cap just to get some nice uh, silver lions. Oi, we found them. It's the Senmar one. How far is that? Only 650. Okay, I hit him, but nothing happened. That turret cheek there. And that should have killed him, but okay. GG. So this thing is a pretty formidable vehicle. It means that you've got access to a 90mm that's under 6.3 that you won't get top down strafed. This has a really good lineup by the way. You've got the Bulldog and if you own the Premium T20 you've got this too. But this guy is just superior in every way. You get a heat shell with this with the same reload. A slightly slower turret rotation speed I suppose and you've also got access to the same APHE shell much prefer this thing mobility is better but for something with a little bit of armor for urban stuff I suppose this is alright before we go though there's actually an M26 which I think is called an M23 that's the Pershing with the 76 millimeter cannon from the Sherman on it and I think that'd be a much better addition to the game rather than Mr. Bobblehead here it's cool that we have this but please give 76 millimeter Persian that would be awesome anyway that's me done for today if you're looking for a vehicle that doesn't get sucked up to 7.3 and faces those horrible German lineup then I guess that's that as always a huge thank you to everyone who supports me over on discord and patreon thank you guys very very much there's quite a few new discord tier threes I really appreciate that to everyone over on discord that's Flubberino, Toast McGee, Deepak is Sexy, White Wolf, Aries thank you very much, Audible Bo, Osar the Dead thank you again, Bofe, The Saints Fan, Distari Fearless Germ, Master Zain, thank you, Mishy Boy, Rusty, Stoyan, Rick, Wolf, and Zig. And to everyone over on Patreon, that's Sickness Win, Matthew S, Cryogen, Finley, Paul Wendricks, The Tago Guy, FTN Watermelon, Shane McGuire, Ahines, Anderson Run, Brandon AK, The Flying Pickle, MB1, Kenobi, Ethan, Excavation Nation, Handsome Tortilla, Kin the Salt Lord, Lover Weasel, Ralph, Reich, Shaft, Tectonic, Tanks Gone Well, The Anomaly, Varian, Warpig, The Saints Fan, Mortan and Stoyan, David, Pyrophoric and the one, the only Rosalini. Uh, there's so many people. Thank you guys very much. And to everyone who's still here, thank you very much for watching. Much love and bye bye.